Okay, so here we are. We're going to begin. Now, open your file explorer. Now, I'm using Ubuntu, which is Linux. If It should be similar on Windows. So we're going to create a folder called dclone. That is going to contain all the files. Now, I'm actually going to rename this to dclone live or something because this is what we're actually using because I have loads of prototypes where I experimented making this. It did take about a month to get to this stage. So, we're in dclone live now. We're going to make a few folders. So, we're going to have the back end, which is the behind the scenes, what goes on behind the scenes, basically. We'll get onto that in a minute. And the front end. So, in web development, you have what you can see on a browser, if we go to google.com, now you can see that we have a page with loads of details on it. This is called the front end. Now if we view source, obviously a human did not maintain this because it's built for robots and speed. <laughs> it's all compressed, so this is code. What we're seeing basically, the source of this page. But this is everything we can see right now is on the front end. Now on the back end, If we refresh, you see that Google.com gets some data from different places. Now, there are things called APIs. Now, an API is like a web server, basically, that hand manages data behind the scenes and then sends it to the browser, to, and then the browser can do stuff with that data. And it does load most things, analytics, has a bunch of doing a lot of things behind the scenes. We don't need to worry about google.com. We need to worry about our own application. So, we do have a front end, but let's instead open a terminal. Now, I'm currently using bash. It should be similar in CMD. And make sure you open the terminal to this folder wherever you created it, you need to open a terminal within this folder. CMD is a bit different to bash, by the way. Now, it, within this folder, we're going to install create react app. Make sure you install npm ig create react app. And I get an error because I need to type sudo on Linux because uh, I haven't set up my permissions properly. There we go. Okay, so make sure you install these packages here, create Re React App and TypeScript. These will be used for actually running the application. So I already have them installed. Now the version I'm using, if we type tscv, which TypeScript compiler version is what you get when you install TypeScript, my global version is 4.3.5 and my create react app version is 4.0.3 so make sure you have if you want everything to go well and smoothly make sure you have the same versions now we're going to type this create react app within this folder front end now, React is a web framework used to easily build the UI, which is what we see when we go on google.com. Each part of this web page can be separated into components, and React is very good for that. React allows you to use components, and those components are like bricks. For example, this navbar here, if we control shift C, this navbar right here, is a component. Okay, I'm going to use the Discord example. For components, in React, basically, React is a collection, your React app here. Now, funnily enough, Discord was made with React, what we're going to use in this course, I believe. So, each component here, each Thing we're interacting with can be separated into components which are the building 
bricks of our application. So we can have username here, username tab, guild icon, guild icon, or server icon. Guild and server are used synonymously here. We will also have message as well. Text channel, message box, and components can be a collection of components. Now, what a component is, is basically a collection of HTML code. So what a component is, okay, we'll talk about this later, but now we have our Dclone Live. We have our front end in Dclone Live, brilliant. So we can code dot, now we want to open this directory, so this opens both of these folders at the same time, just the parent folder, the one we're in. Now, yes, I trust the authors. I have no, no malware. We're not making malware in this course. So, here we go. Now, this front end is when we create a Re React app, it works out the box. Now, I did do it wrong. Okay, so once you've installed them packages, make sure you npmig. No. Once you've installed them packages, make sure you create React app within this folder. So if you're using CMD, you can change directory to this folder or just open terminal within this folder. Now bash is different to CMD and you'll see that in the course. So what we're going to do is we're going to create React app now. We're going to call this front end, which is the UI of the application. And we're going to call this template TypeScript. So what this will do is it will install packages. This might take a couple of minutes. So it will create a front end. Now I did have to re-record this, so I did have VS Code open. So make sure you have VS Code installed if you don't have already. We're, we're going straight into it for this series. So VS Code, make sure you have that installed. So you can get VS Code at code.visualstudio.com Node.js.org to get Node.js. Yeah, hopefully I said that at some point. Okay, so we have a working out the box front end and an empty back end. So let's get started. Press Control Shift back tick on your whatever you're using. It should work on Windows as well, or just terminal new terminal. Now let's go into back end. Now we're in the back end. Okay. Now let's go into front end and type npm start. Something is already running on 3000. Uh oh. Okay, so something is already running on 3000. Now, as a matter of fact, we're not going to use port 3000. So, in package.json, we're going to use, <clears throat> when we start, we're going to set the port to 4200, which is an environment variable, and it should run on port. 4200 when we start or run this script. So, control C and let's npm start one more time. Okay, now it's trying to go on for port, not fort, 4200. There we go. Now, we have a working React boilerplate. 